Went and I are going to Louisville for the weekend, kind of like a staycation. Uh, February 27th is our seven years together, our dating anniversary, which we're still celebrating, even though we're married now. Um, but besides, you know, like, it's still cold outside. It wasn't, like, time for a vacation yet. We just didn't want to do the normal dinner. So we're driving a little over an hour and a half. We're going to get a hotel, eat lots of good food. So they have really good vegan restaurants. And we're just going to, like, pig out on a lot of vegan junk food and hang out. So catch you then. Peace, motherfucker. crazy hotel there's like neon lights everywhere there's live music in the lobby the way down here we almost died and I had to call 911 so there was a car and it was swerving crazily back and forth um, we passed them the guy in the front seat was like rocking back and forth um, he went in front of us and I could see that he was like in the right lane with the right turning signal going back and forth, slamming on his brakes going forward. So I called 911, I reported it, couldn't get the plate number though, couldn't read it from that far away. Um, eventually he went off the road, almost went over a huge hill, and I read the plate by then and called again. And by then someone else had already reported it. Well, multiple people. So um, he definitely could have almost killed someone because he was driving crazy. But tonight we're going to eat at V Grits. It's an all vegan restaurant brew pub. Um, really awesome stuff. And the owner like won a cooking competition. I don't know if that was Food Network or what, but catch you then. Saturday morning and we're about to go get some breakfast. We're gonna get some yummy pancakes and stuff at Flora Kitchenette. <laughs> pancakes with like a lemon curd on it and breakfast potatoes and a really good iced latte and what happened Quinn? I ate too much food again. No but what'd you get all over me? <laughs> Blue, good old blueberries. Why? Because I ate your pancakes too. Look at all them pigeons. What are you guys doing? Look at all them pigeons. When you're in a food coma. So we just got a coffee and um, they either had paper straws like Quint got or they had pasta straws. Like this is literally just like a big noodle and it's a little weird but I'm here for it. Send nudes. So I'm eating my noodle straw. Oh my god. Yeah. And I'm drinking my paper straw. See how bougie you look? So it started pouring rain, so I went shopping! So 
well it is saturday night it is storming and so windy outside so like my hair is a mess we then have housekeeping come today so they gave us like five dollars off the bar downstairs so now i think we're just gonna like go get a drink and then um we have like cake to go from the restaurant last night and just kind of chill the rest of the night just wanted to show the cake peanut butter chocolate cake Oh my goodness, all vegan from V Grits. Awesome red wine, and we are ready to end the night. Happy Sunday. So, we just checked out of our hotel, and now we're going to get brunch at Half Peach Bakery. It's an all vegan bakery, plus, they have um, tons of food from like pizza to sandwiches, so I'm not sure what we want to get yet. And then we'll be back home to Cincinnati. Possible, which was pretty good, so. Um, so that was the best, and then the second best was what we just came from, which was the Half Peach Bakery. They're also, I wouldn't call it a bakery because there aren't a whole lot of sweets, although I did get this yummy brownie. Look at the Oreos inside. So I'm gonna eat that one at home. I had a Nashville hot chicken sandwich, it had pickles, hot sauce was really good, and another burger. Um, third, I would say, would be Flora Kitchenette, which was yesterday's breakfast brunch. They had amazing, like, a shaken latte. It was super amazing, super good. Uh, the blueberry pancakes, the potatoes, and then last place I'm going to say is Vigrits, which was actually, like, what I was most excited for. It's in the newer of all of them. It's like a brew pub in that. They had like wings and stuff. So they used oyster mushroom as their source of meat for their chicken and that made it very slimy like uh, real wings whereas before I went vegan I liked boneless wings not real wings because I didn't like the sliminess steak the fat on meat always freaked me out and that's what it tasted like so I was not a big fan of that the drinks were really good though the wing sauce was amazing but that is definitely last place but overall Louisville has an awesome vegan scene I mean we walked into a coffee shop randomly just to get coffee and then they had so many vegan options from sandwiches to uh, all their bakery items were vegan. Overall, we had a really good weekend. So give this video a thumbs up if you like these kind of like chill weekend vlogs or these epic cheat meals. And then make sure you do subscribe and I will see you guys next week. Bye guys.